I need um, a hummus plate. Okay. And I need the farmer's market. Beautiful. Usually um, Italian vinaigrette comes with that. Is that okay? Or would you like a different dressing? In today's English lesson, you are going to learn how to order food at a restaurant in English and be confident doing that. You're going to watch me order food in a restaurant, but I parked a little ways down the street. I didn't realize where this restaurant was located, so my car is back there, but we are going to have to walk just a little ways down there. But on the way, uh, weed, marijuana, is legal in my state and there are there's a, there's a weed shop behind me there's a weed shop there i don't think we'll ever do a an english lesson on how to order weed but um across the street is actually a little cuban grocery store yeah maybe we'll do uh, an english lesson there one time how to order food at a Cuban grocery store. But I think you'll probably find more use out of this one, and that is uh, how to order food at an American restaurant. The restaurant is called Obscura Cafe. And one thing that I would do if I were you is look at the menu online if possible. Like, I'm a native English speaker, but I already know what I want to order. So that might take a little pressure off you when you get to the, the counter or the waitress or the waiter comes to your table and asks you, hey, what do you want to eat? You can have an idea of what you want to eat if you look at the menu online before you get to the restaurant. Do like know what time? I'm like... It's a little dark in here. I will make sure I get a table right near the door. There's a little more light there so you can see me. Or maybe you don't want to see me. Maybe you just want to hear me. There are a couple different types of, oh, somebody's coming in the door right now. Hello. There are a couple different types of restaurants in the United States. One type is when you walk in the door, there might be a host or a hostess that will tell you where to sit. This restaurant is not one of those. We might just say, you just seat yourself. But if somebody is at the door when you walk in, you can see there's nobody here. You're probably just going to sit down if nobody's there. If somebody is there though, check in with them. They might ask you, hey, how many in your party? That means how many people do we need to seat? For me, I would just say uh, I'm a party of one, I'm by myself. But if there are like four, or five, or six, there's just different parts of the restaurant where you may have to sit. This restaurant actually has a bar, which is pretty cool. We would call that a bar, but we're gonna actually sit at a table. Right here. Now, since there isn't anybody to seat you, we are just seating ourselves. Look around the table and see what is on the table. We have some napkins. That's always helpful in case we're messy eaters. There's also that menu, which you might not need if you looked at the online menu already, but there are instructions right here and it says, please order at the counter. And then there are a couple other instructions on what you should do after your meal, but there is no server at this restaurant. It's just all done at the counter, and the counter is right over there. But there's nobody here at the counter, so maybe we just need to wait or maybe make a little noise to let you uh, clear your throat because it <clears throat> something like that and then maybe someone will come from the back which it looks like somebody is coming from the back hopefully she'll talk to us maybe we can order with her now 
If you saw on the community tab, I did ask subscribers, hey, what should I get to drink? And if you're a channel member, you also told me what I need to order. So there was a tie for the food. So I'm actually gonna get two things for food and I'm going to get one of the sodas. Although somebody said I should just get water because it's healthier, but that's not any fun. All right, let's do this. Since I already know what I want, I'm not nervous. I can just ask, um, do I have to order drinks first or food or does it matter? No, you can just order everything all at once. All right, so I know I need to order a lemonade. Okay. I need the, the rose lemonade. Rose lemonade. All right. Yeah. Although I, I did want to get the Victorian because it's blue and yellow, Ukraine, Elena, but rose one. And then also I need um, a hummus plate. Okay. And I need the farmer's market. Beautiful. Usually um, Italian vinaigrette comes with that. Is that okay? Or would you like a different dressing? All right, since this is my first time here and I've never had it, I'm going to go with the expert. You said Italian vinaigrette? Yep. Let's do Italian vinaigrette. Although I'm usually a ranch man. Okay. Italian vinaigrette is healthier. Yeah. Let's go, let's go healthier. All right. So a rose lemonade, a hummus plate, and a farmer's market salad with Italian vinaigrette. Yes, ma'am. Awesome. That's going to be $25.80 today. $25.80. Here we go. I'm going to set this down. Oh, there's my lemonade. There's your lemonade. Um, this might be a stupid question, but what makes it rose? Is it rose? It's flavored? infused with rose water. So it's very subtle, it's not too overpowering, it doesn't have like a soapy flavor, it's just a nice subtle um, rose infusion of okay. a regular lemonade. Like the flower? Yep. Rose. Okay. All right, let me get out my wallet here. What name should I put on the order? Uh, Brent, please. Okay. Hello, a 20. Two, uh, two 20s. Out of 40. 14.20 is your change. Did you want a receipt today? Um, yes, please. Thanks okay. for asking. Yes, a receipt. And they do have a tip jar here. It's a tip jar. There's no like waitress or waiter service here, but somebody is preparing the meal and they are going to bring it to me. So in the United States, we do often tip. Put some money in the jar. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. There's your receipt. I'll get that ready for you. All right, thank you very much. You're welcome. All right, let's go back to our table and try this uh, rose lemonade. So here we have the rose lemonade. You do not need a bottle opener to open this cap. We would call this a twist off. So let's see how hard, ooh, hear that noise? All right. So let's try the rose lemonade. So I should be tasting some lemons, some sugar, and she said a subtle hint of rose, not overpowering. Subtle, it means just a little bit. So the big flavor here will not be rose, probably lemon. Oh, that's good. That's good. And I think this lemonade was $5, wasn't it? I think, I think it was $5. Well, before my food comes, I should probably wash my hands. I just touched money. So uh, let's go check out the bathroom. We want to lock the door. We don't want to get interrupted. I like what they did to the place. Extra rolls of toilet paper. Nice art on the wall. What is this? Hypnotism. Do you know what that is in English? Um, I, it's when you usually like wave something in front of somebody's face, like maybe an old timey watch. 
And then it, they might say, you're slowly getting sleepy. When you wake up, you will act like a bear. <laughs> Hypnotizing, it's making people do things under like a spell. But uh, I'll, I'll take another look at this with the camera, just in case you want to hypnotize somebody. I'm gonna put the camera down and wash the other hand. It's, it's hard to film and wash both hands at the same time. I like the pink soap. It might get a whole lot louder out there. While I was in here washing my hands, I think a child entered the restaurant. Hopefully they're not going to be too loud and ruin the lesson, let's see. I think a baby. I just heard them cry. Thank you so much. You too. Oh. Looks like they're leaving, so maybe not too loud. While we are waiting for our food, there's some more English we can learn. This word right here. That says capacity 50. That means for this restaurant to be safe, the fire department doesn't get mad. There can only be 50 people in this building at a time. If there are more, they would be violating the fire code and that might not be good. Oh, I wanted to go up these steps. But we can't, there is a velvet rope blocking our path. It's called the velvet rope, guess what? There's another one over here. We can't go down there, but it does say the lounge coming soon. This restaurant opened not too long ago, so they might be expanding. When a restaurant expands, it means it gets bigger, so they might actually be able to put more people in here if they expand, like down there in the lounge. I'm told our food is ready and it will be coming. Hummus plate here awesome. and your farmer's market salad. There's some utensils for you and a few napkins. Awesome. What is hummus made out of? Is it chickpeas? Yep, it's chickpeas, chickpeas and tahini, which is a sesame kind of butter. Okay. And these are these beets? Yep. Beets. Awesome. Thank you very much. Awesome. Enjoy. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, let's dig in. I've never had beets before in my life, so. I'll be curious about that. All right, this actually looks delicious and it smells so fresh. Now on that plate, there are cucumbers, there are beets. It looks like some orange peppers, kind of like green peppers, but these are orange. We also have red peppers. They're not that spicy, they're more like sweet. And then tomatoes. To be honest, I don't like tomatoes at all, but we're gonna try it. In the salad, on top of the salad, looks like these might be fried onions. Yeah, so little fried onions for a little crunch. And of course we have our Italian vinaigrette. Cucumbers, looks like some spinach, or no, maybe lettuce, lettuce. And she said she brought some utensils. This is what we call utensils. Forks, knives, spoons, they're known as utensils when they're all together. It's a lot easier than saying, I brought a fork, a knife, and a spoon for you. Hey, I brought you some utensils. All right, I'm gonna try those beets first. I'm going to dip the beets in the hummus. Oh no, I, I lost my beet in the hummus. I think, I think it's there. Oh 
Okay, wow, that's a lot of hummus. I mean, I love hummus, but I probably like the hummus more than the beet. Wow, hummus really sticks to your mouth like peanut butter. Americans love peanut butter. It doesn't taste like peanut butter though. All right, that was a lot easier. Hopefully it's not too messy. I really don't like eating on camera, but if it helps you learn English, let's do it. Cucumber with hummus. So good, I need to ask, is this hummus homemade? Is it made right here? Quick question, is the hummus made here? No, unfortunately not. I, uh, I would like to be making hummus in-house someday. Uh, but for now, I've just been buying it through our distributor. It's um, a Greek uh, brand called Kantos. Okay, it's really good. Like, Thanks. really good, really good. So did you notice she said not made in-house? That would be not made here, but they order it. Still good. All right, beets. I've always said they're old people's food. Only old people like to eat them. But now I'm getting old and um, I'm trying beets for the first time. They're not bad. So maybe they are old people's food, but I'm old now. So I think they're my kind of food. So the hardest to eat though. All right, I just tried a tomato. I don't like tomatoes, but with that hummus, I now like tomatoes. Let's wash it down with some more rose lemonade. Jules and I were just talking off camera and she said she tried five different hummuses. I think that's the plural for hummus. Five different hummuses before she settled on this one and uh, it was a good choice. Some people in the United States, if they are watching their weight or they're on a diet, when they have salad, they will only dip their salad in the salad dressing like, like this. And then they'll eat it like that. I'm not on a diet, maybe I should be, but we are not going to dip our salad in the dressing. We are going to pour our dressing over the salad. We'll start with just about half. All right, I just took a bite of that salad. You probably don't want me to eat the whole meal on camera. Let me tell you, the salad is no joke. If you wanna say something is really good, you can say it's no joke. The salad, no joke. Let's talk about where you could sit in a restaurant. Right now, I'm sitting at a table. But as I said before, this is a bar, sitting at a bar. And this thing over here is called a booth. Right, I'm going to dab my mouth with a napkin. Dabbing, just little movements like that. Dab. Did you know that verb? It's a good verb to know. If you have cut your skin, you might dab medicine on that cut. But guess what? Just because it's English, dab can also be a noun. On my fork, I have a little dab of hummus. Okay, I found an easier way to eat the beets. Put a little dab of hummus on your fork and then stab the beet. Look at that, so much easier. Obscura is usually very busy, but I did ask the owner, Angie, hey, what time do you think you'll have the least amount of customers? And she told me to come at this time. Kind of late afternoon, it's almost four o'clock, but there, but there is one customer here, so I'll get back to eating. I am all done, and there are instructions on the table on what to do after you are done. It said, dispose of your dishes, trash, and returnables at the station to the right of the bar when you are finished. So you probably know trash, you probably know dishes, but returnables are bottles because every time you buy a bottle in my state, you have to pay five cents. But when you return that bottle back to a redemption center, we call it, 
you get your five cents back. So we don't throw away glass bottles or aluminum cans here where I live. I also didn't finish my tomatoes. I ran out of hummus. I didn't want to eat the tomatoes by themselves, but I could have asked for extra cucumbers instead of tomatoes. They would have done that for me. So that's something you can do. If you have a dish and it's got four or five different things on it, but you don't like one of them, you can ask for extra of something that you do like. Rubbish is another name for trash. Thank you so much. I'll be, I'll be back. I hope you've enjoyed that English lesson. If you learned anything from it, would you mind hitting that like button? If you want more English where I go out around the town, right up there, whole English playlist for you. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.